Hey everyone, I am very excited to be sharing with you my first fully scripted project on the Steam Workshop, and that's the mod for Meadow. I've got a couple other things out there, but mostly those are just kind of remixes of other people's mods. This is the first one where I've taken the assets and added all of the scripting to the game. This video is just a how-to to use the mod. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but just in case, I will walk through how you use all of it and there will be timestamps to skip to relevant parts. So the first thing you would do is subscribe to this on the Steam Workshop, load up Tabletop Simulator, and then click on Meadow. You'll see all four of those decks shuffled when you load it. I needed that to happen for some timing things. It's not the best design choice, but um, it was too late in the project to completely redo everything, so I'm just going to live with it. So these all get shuffled as soon as you load in. Um, you'll notice these buttons here. Um, there's the advanced setup and a simple setup, and it has a, a number on the button. Bear with me for just a second. I'm going to join another account to the lobby. All right. So now I've got one of my backup accounts in there. It still says two. Um, those update when your players change their colors. So if we put this guy on a valid color, we now see that we're setting up for a three-player game. You do want to make sure that this number is accurate before you hit one of the buttons, or it will set it up incorrectly, and you'll basically just need to reload and start over. This big text wall basically just explains what the difference between the two setups is. Simple is going to be one card from every deck except the south deck. You'll get two cards to every player. So we'll go ahead and click that first. And that text explodes so it's not there forever bothering you. So you can see every player has got their five starting cards. Um, it'll also randomly select a first player and a random turn order. Uh, so Kate's account is the first player. Um, some quality of life things that I added are um, when you pass your turn, after she takes her turn and we pass, it's going to um, restock the cards there. Um, and then it'll let you know whose turn it is next. Um, so it's this guy. Takes a card, passes turn, my turn. With the advanced setup, let's go back. The advanced setup, if you don't know, is how they suggest you play every game except your first game. So let's give that a click. And we spawn in these buttons here. So what the advanced setup does is the first player first will select a row of cards to draft, and then they will also get one uh, north card. I've color-coded these buttons to the person whose turn it is. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and take this one. Now, it's not going to pass my turn because this isn't part of uh, a, a traditional turn. This is just a draft. I did put some safeguards in here, though. So if you do have a player that passes their turn, it's going to give that back to me at the end of the draft. So although, you know, the red player has the, um, the turn indicator, we'll finish up the draft. And it's back to me and it, I've got the first player marker. Um, I've added these print score buttons, so what those will do is score your cards. Um, so anything you have with points on it will be scored, and it prints out here to the chat, so I'm the yellow player, I have three points. I do also have it working with the campfire area and your goals. Um, so we'll give everybody two points out here, and if we push this again, my, my total updated to five, and everybody else has two. Um, on your player board here, anything within this will be scored, with the exception of your goal markers. Those need to be over there to get scored. Um, you do have some snaps down here to indicate where you can place your terrain cards. Nothing else will snap to it. You can obviously place cards here, but that's not where they go. Um, this is basically 10 cards wide because you can only have 10 terrains. So um, you're able to very easily place these um, place these out. 
and then um, only the east card snaps so it won't try to grab the cards you're placing on top. That said, if you do this, it is going to um, create a deck. Um, but that's also fine. My scoring won't break. So if I just make, you know, that's a three card deck. So if we print the scores, it'll it'll cycle that deck. And I have eight points. So there's one, uh, six plus two for that one. So it's, it's correct. Um, some other features I put in here um, in a three-player game you block out one of these four slots I decided it was going to be this one um, so if you try to put a token here it's going to throw it away tag it and highlight it and just let you know that you can't place it there um, there is this kind of a bug where if you hold on to it it'll keep snapping back um, you have to let it go um, but it will never let you leave it a path tile there um let's see some of the cool things are the cleanup i added um so this knows how many rounds are supposed to be in a three player a two player and a four player so in a three player game um everybody's got five tiles so 15 turns so if i just rapid fire through that Everybody's um, tiles are placed back here. You're free to move these to wherever you like afterwards, but uh, they come back in order um, and nicely arranged for you. Um, I'm automatically moving this guy as well. And then the next thing to highlight is going to be when you get to the hourglass. So I'm just going to pass everybody's turns. Okay, so when you get to the midway point, um, I should have demonstrated this, but um, none of your tiles will be recalled until this is clicked. This is an intentional design choice. Um, if the last person in the third round isn't quite sure on their turn or they decide maybe I want to do something else, this will prevent everything from flying backwards and the the logic for the the restock to happen because what happens when the guy gets here is every south card is removed and the north deck comes down and all of the east and west cards are placed at the bottom of these decks and new cards come out so i wanted an intentional pause to let the person who had their last turn in round three make sure that that was their actual turn so when everybody's sure just click the big red button and then all the cleanup and housekeeping happens, like I said, um, the north decks here, all of these are now north cards, and these are replaced with um, new versions of the east and west deck. I do have, um, I haven't added any sort of scripting for these cards, but I do have them tagged. So if you want to manually add these to your game, you can, and the scoring will score them. So the red player has 20 points because of these cards. Now they've got 15. And you can see that blinking. Um, like I mentioned, if you, if you have a player that would rather have a deck instead of a tiered pile of cards like this, that one wouldn't go there, neither would that one. Or that one. <laughs> Here, this one. If, they'd, if they don't want to do it like this and instead they want to just make a pile, if that's easier for them, the scoring doesn't care. It'll cycle that deck and um, uh, and get it. That said, it won't always keep the... Um, I don't think it will always keep your top card the same. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do about that without kind of reworking it, so just be mindful of that. Um, that could be an issue. Um, I, may, I may fix that at a later date. Um, I should have said this earlier, I don't have solo mode scripted. The stuff for it is in this bag. Um, that is um, an intention of mine to, to add a solo mode script, but I have not done that yet. 
I think that's basically it. When the guy gets to the end, um, I don't have any sort of indicator or pop-up that the game is over. I, I probably should add those as well. Um, but when it's all done, just hit the print scores button and the person with the most points wins. If you find any bugs, please let me know. Um, either leave a comment on this video or on the Steam Workshop page for the mod. Um, I've done some playtesting. I found a few bugs myself um, and with, with my friends. So I think we found everything, but you know, who knows? I, I can't think of anything else that I want to do show off. So um, I hope you enjoy the mod. And like I said, any feedback is welcome. Thank you very much for playing.